Hi, everybody. Um, this is gonna be my official YouTube channel. And you're probably wondering why I'm in Minecraft right now. Well, I decided and thought of what if I make a survival series? But then I thought about it, and then I noticed that a lot of people already already have that. A lot of people already like you know, do a survival series. And then I was like, well, what about I make a survival guide? Well, a survival guide? Hmm. But a lot of people have that as well. Like survival guides, farms, a lot of stuff. But I know something. A lot of those are from Java Edition. i never seen any Bedrock survival guides. So officially, this series on my channel is going to be The Guide to Bedrock Survival by me. Okay? So as every world starts, we hit the play button. This is all my other worlds. Let's create a new world. You can go over there, we can call this. Um, survival... Sur I don't know if I can spell. Survival Bedrock Guide. I don't really know. We'll set this to normal. We will enable these. And we'll keep the seed blank. If you... I'll give out the seed later. Well, and basically like a seed is like a map ID of of a world, so if you keep typing in like the same map ID, it'll generate the same way. There's gonna be like no difference. If you leave this blank, Minecraft will give you a random seed. And I'll leave that blank. I'll put show coordinates on. No cheats, because this is gonna be a no cheat survival world. No behavior packs, nothing of that. And once we're done, we can hit the crate. And we can wait for this world to generate. Hopefully, Minecraft isn't crashed because I'm not feeling it's uh, going to. Oh, never mind. So, looks like we don't have the greatest spawn. We only have one tree, and, and there's an ocean around us. The sea is probably not that great, so we're gonna create another world because this is. Because this is not a seed that I ever wanted. We're never gonna build a house in this, and that's gonna be literally impossible to survive in. Survival bedrock guide. And then I'm gonna leave that seed blank. Short coordinates. No, uh, nothing really else. And click create. And I'll say who's the. Let's see what the new world is. There we go. So this is Minecraft. This is a world that you will generate in, and and there's no time to waste. Your first, your first, um, the first thing you need to get is wood. That's the that's the resource that you obviously need. So take some time and punch some wood with your with your bare hands. Yes, if I, yes, in Minecraft you can do. And then you're gonna go to you're gonna press E or you can press your inventory, whatever bedrock device you're on. You're gonna drag all of your wood, put it over there, gather all your wood, and then you can place it back, and then make a crafting table. You can also use the recipe book right over there. But and then we're gonna make some sticks. Put that back. And then we can go over here. Then we can go here. And then we can make a pig axe. Don't mind anything about the other tools, because those are pretty much... They don't, we don't really need them right now, when, the, when there's stone all around us. We're not going to worry about the... We need to, to actually conserve our hunger, so we're just going to walk. I'm going to find some exposed stone. It should look all gray. There's a lot of different types of stone, so don't get confused. But we can see some some stone right there, and we'll mine it with our wooded pig axe. Try to not get any other tools. 
because any other wooden tools because they're, pre they're pretty much going to be a waste of time even be just because there's stone all around you. So still just mine some stone. This will not drop, um, this will not drop cobbles. This will actually drop the cobblestone, which is kind of confusing. And you're like, hey, why is it dropping cobblestone? Well, it's it's basically a ore that will, and you can create a stone pickaxe. It's basically the first thing you will see that if you mine it with a regular pickaxe, it will not drop what stone. Hmm, something just happened over there. I'll just mine some more cobblestone because we'll probably need that later. 20 is, is a good amount for me right now. And we're gonna use this couple of wood. We do that. We do this. And we are gonna make an axe because we need some more wood. And this is a great fighting material. We go into it. This is, it will do a lot of damage so we can easily kill mobs. And we don't want to waste our bigger. Even though a sword is actually what you need. Oh, some more cobblestone. And ah, there we go. Our first ore. That is coal. Coal is basically a fuel and a light source. You you will obviously need this. Okay, this is gonna be the, the ore that you will need. Oh the way I just do that. It's hard to control on a mountain. You'll find this a lot when you're mining, trust me. It- it will drop one coal. It's probably not that good, but like... You will- this is the most common ore you will find in the overworld. The most common ore. Let me see if there's any more coal. But this is the most common ore, and it doesn't hurt to pick up- to always pick up. And it generates very big. It doesn't generate because of this amount. But this gen this will generate a lot. Like just you'll see this a lot when you mine. Well, let's get some more wood because we're gonna we're gonna need some more wood for maybe a house, some other stuff, and we can start exploring a little bit and try to make a variety of stone tools. So we can't get that. Okay, let's convert this all to wood planks. Now let's make a craft a little crafting table, and let's make a stone sword. Oh, what I'm doing? What am I doing? I need a wooden sword. Let's do that. Let's make a little bit more sticks. And we can make a shovel. And that's pretty much all we need. And we can also make a furnace while we're still here. Furnaces will smelt food and a lot of variety of stuff. And this is going to be very useful even when we have a lot of resources okay so we basically have everything done next our next priority priority is to find where we should build our base i think we spawned like somewhere over here and i saw something i think i did but i'm sorry sheep but this has to end this way also here's a technique when you're when you're attacking a mob jump and attack and that will, that will do a critical hit, which will do a lot more damage. You know this chicken should live, shouldn't live, I should kill them, but, okay. Ah, there we go. This is one of the, one of the, my favorite aspects about Minecraft, and it's a village. Villages spawn naturally, um, in the overworld, and they're a good thing to cross by because they're a free house, not, and they trade. They can trade for goods using emeralds and for other stuff. And they also have this iron golem. What does won't worry about that, because if you attack that, then they'll start attacking you and we can have a problem. So cats spawn around the villages and and a lot and a lot of stuff in the villages especially. There, there's some loot, oh weird, and there's a lot of different like professions they have. They even have beds, they have a lot of stuff we can use. But the thing we're gonna need the most is is a house. So we're gonna let's spend some time and chop down some trees with our stone axe, and then we, I can teach you. And also, you could see like there's different types of wood. You could see that over there. There's like 
another kind of wood. It's called oak wood. We're not gonna chop that down. Actually, we will, but we're gonna convert that to extra sticks. Because all every type of wood can be to, can be kind of transformed into the, the same stick. Put that over there. And we can make a little bit of stick. We can do that. We can also just chop down this tree. Actually, let me just do something. Yeah, so then he was just like making this a little bit more weird. Okay. So we have nine pieces of. We need to cut down like three more trees because I think that's enough to make a fully functioning house. We're not gonna make it that big. It's just gonna be a house that will probably upgrade in the future. But this is just a five year first night, so. So you're probably. So it's probably not gonna be anything special. So there's sheep over there. We're not. We're not gonna kill it. And there's some coal over there. I will some fun. You see that inside that mountain? Coal generates everywhere in the world. Even in mountains. Other ores generate like in caves or in, in some of the better ores generate underground. Okay. Well, let's get let's cut let's uh, let's cut down the slash tree and we can and we can start doing the better stuff. So starting to starting to explore the area and getting a feel of what we have of ground is. And let's also collect this coal because we also need those are also cows. Oh what is this? What kind of biome is this? This is wow, this is a a shattered savanna. This is a mini shattered savanna. That's really cool terrain generation. I like that. It's also curse coarse dirt. This is another type of dirt. I don't know why Minecraft like that. And I'm eating my last food. Let's just cut down all this coal. Because we really need this, trust me, we will. But we need to start hurrying because in sunwise it's about to be night. And you don't want to, with no armor and stone tools, you do not want to be in the night. See, see what I told you about coal draining so frequently? We have 20 coal, and we only mine two places. And there, and we have not a cave. Your caves are, are scary, and they're fun. Because caves have, have really good resources that you can get. Oh, and there's a gravel right here that we need. Well, let's make some torches, which you can easily make in your, like, in your beginning crafting interface. Because I'm exploring this game. We're not going to pick up that coal, because we have a, a, a bunch of coal. See, the coal starts everywhere. Ah, there we go. When you get here by the sand, that way we can hear some mobs. Trust me, you don't want to mess with mobs, because I only have a stone sword, and that's not going to do a lot of damage, and I have no armor, so it's going to be easy for me to die. And it's already getting night. So, we're going to keep this cave just there, so we can explore it later, but next is to build our house. Our house doesn't have to be big, it can be built like right over here, to fit like the builder stack. Let's just build it like one, two, three, that. We'll just make this like a mini like mini like buck bunker. We don't have to be that that like creative. Oh, we have enough wood. This seems like a good place. Um we'll go right over here. Let's take that out. Let's line this up like this. Go right over here and mark this right over here. And that is pretty much and look at that. Those are mobs. Do not get any close to them because they can easily take you down. Luckily they don't see me because they're gonna probably start chasing me in not a long time. So let's convert this all actually we'll keep those. Let's use it. Yeah. We'll make windows soon. Just, we don't really have anything to work with, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna stick with easy. Nothing special. This. Okay, 
So, oh no, it looks like we're running out of wood. Please tell me we won't, because I really don't want to. Oh god, already one sees me. You can easily attack them. Let's use the combat method. Oh god. How come it attacked me? Okay. Rotten flesh is another thing we can- Oh god, that scared me. No Santa gets me. Yeah, mobs will get super annoying. We can eat the rotten flesh, but it's probably not good. As you can see, I have hunger, which is a side effect that you get when drinking. Oh god, I can hear another one. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Again, rotten flesh is not the thing you want to eat, but I shouldn't hold it. Okay. Let's get this basic house done, even in night, because it's the only thing we're working with. Looks like we need more wood. Okay, we have to refracture fracture the house, so that's good. Also, let's light up this, because we don't want any of the mobs in our house. Let's just light up this so no mobs spawn in or around our house. But like right over there, that should be a fine. Please, that they shouldn't set them as a Put that there, man. And let's kill these mobs because they're blocking the tree. We need to watch out for those guys because those guys explode when they're close to you. Just try, just, just try to push them off and try to block their sort of explosion. It's like, keep doing this and they won't explode. You pick anything? We didn't even get anything while doing that. And look at that. The village iron golem is taking over those mobs, so that's gonna be a super big help. Sadly, they don't kill creepers because they just don't feel like it. Okay. Let's, let's try to... Oh, let's just try to put this last one into blocks. You just have zaplins, you can collect them on the ground, they'll actually go to trees. And those stupid zombies, it's like, they always spawn. It's like, so annoying. I don't know why. There's just a lot of cows around me, but I want to save those because I don't want to extinct the whole entire population. Oh, speaking of mind that. Oh god, that is fine. Okay, I don't know why the cows coming inside my house. Cow, just please don't. Luckily, we're only getting zombies. There's a lot more mobs that we will not want. Okay, I think this is the last amount of wood we will need. We seem to film that and a little bit more. I am not thinking about design. I'm just like just trying to get something that is comfy. And it's next day. We also have to hear out my mobs so they don't sneak attack us. Wow, we're getting some wood. Oh dang, I just noticed that. Oh wait, we can put never mind. Okay. Oh, I just know something. Let's put that. There we go. And we are pretty much done with this house. No mobs can get in except for things that are food box hall and the uh, cow really wants to be there. Let's put our furnaces right here. Let's just do this. And what next thing we're gonna need is to secure this. So we're gonna make some doors. These side doors look really good, so I'm gonna use those. There we go. And we need more food because we're already running out, so that would have to end this way, but there we go. Okay. So this is not the thing you're really wanting to do, like you're out in the wild, just like cooking your food inside a house. But this is the best we can do right now, so I guess this is where we are. So this is not the greatest way to start, but it's functional and it's working against multiple amounts of mobs. So I mean, what can I, can I tell? What can I tell? Okay, so let's just, you can cook 
Animal meat, a lot of animal meat, insane food points just for cooking it. And also, it's also worth it because it's on fire. There we go. We have one free meat in our inventory. And we have two furnaces that are still smelting. We can also use, we can, you can also use wood as, as fuel. Let's put the wind packs because that can be used as fuel. And we don't need it anymore. Oh. Another thing we'll need is a chest to store where we put stuff. And we get this here's an actual cool thing. We can make chests out of different types of wood, but they still look the same. Just mind that. You can also put chests next to each other. Do that. Now, what do you do? Like now, you can't really go out in the night because there's mobs, and you can't really go out to get wood because there's mobs here. Yeah. And, but there's a village over there, but a lot of people don't want the village right next to your spawn. So, the, the only thing you're able to do is, we're actually going to store all of this. The only thing you're able to do is what we call mining. Actually, let me go get out some trees even though I shouldn't. Because we're going to need something called ladders. I'm going, I mean, we're going to need more sticks. Oh, there's a spider population that we probably won't want. That was awesome, we didn't take any damage. Okay, we can just do this. We can go there. We can go here. Actually, I have a better idea. I have an even better idea. Instead of using this, actually we need more sticks, so we'll do that. Oh, now let me try to have to run. I this walk. Maybe like shift, shift like this, so I don't waste that much hunger. Yes, this is actually, this is actually really bad. Okay. So, mining, you'll need to go down, and down is not the best idea. You can't, if you dig straight down, that's the, you do not want to do that. No, that's bad. It's really bad. You can, there's a lot of things you can do. But, a good thing is, you'll need to dig down, but you'll do this. This is a good formation that you should dig down. In the spiral staircase. Trust me, this will, this will work most of the time. Well, most of the time, at least. <laughs> okay, like in this formation, so you can easily get up, and you can easily get down. Here's me, this won't even require a lot of blocks. The only thing that they will need is probably torches to light it up, and that, and that barely even counts. Oh, so you, and use the coordinates you have a top of your screen. I can't, like, move my camera over because, like, can't move in Minecraft, but... If you see over there, like, my position, it just says it right there. The middle of it is just for your Y coin. That's how high and low you are. Knowing this will really help you, when you if you want to find ores. The first thing we're probably going to get is iron. Because that is... Probably that is... And I can already spider, so we know there's a cave around here. That would be fun to explore. Hopefully we get a good cave. If not, then I have a technique for you guys. That I know, and we're getting some water, so we're on a good streak. Oh, but I just do that. I just dig a block, somewhere. but but there's something you hear while I'm on a plug, and that is iron. You can, you can only mine this with a stone pickaxe, but this is essential. Always get iron. Oh god, I can I can hear them so loud. They're so loud now. I think it's right. It's iron. It's a cave. No, there's no cave. Stick around here? Oh, nope. Iron is something is it's just it's not like coal. It doesn't drop. It's like coal. It doesn't doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. Instead, let's just make it all the way up here. Wow! Look at that. Well, you you just survived your first night. How awesome is that? You literally just survived your first night. Literally just by digging down. Well, anyway, getting about the iron. If you have two furnaces, it's better to like. Oh, actually, hmm. put iron. You you have to smell iron in order to get iron ingots. Iron ingots can later be crafted into the tools that you'll need. We'll keep this iron smelting until it's finished, but we'll definitely need the iron because we'll need it for a lot of stuff. But let's go back down and let's dig even more. To the to the bottom. Hopefully we find out, and there we have it, our cave. 
Let's just leave it right over there. Let's just place let's place a block right over there. And then we could try to explore. I'm not gonna cover this cave too much because it's probably just like a cave that oh, you already see a creeper. Not a good sign. That's uh the fact that this cave is probably big. And then we have some gunpowder. Creepers drop that. Let's mine this iron. Let's just pick up some coal. What was that? Oh, that's a bat. That's a bat. Bats are passive mobs. They just spawn in caves. They don't really do anything. They don't drop anything either. Okay, let's get that. Let's get this coal. And we- Oh my god, we need a, a new stone pickaxe. You can see that- You can see the durability on your pickaxes right up here. Or any kind of tool. If it wears out, then it'll break and it will disappear. You can easily repair it by making a new one, obviously. Or, you can combine it in your crafting interface, like if I do this, and I put in a soap pickaxe, I can also do that. Or you can put in an anvil, which we'll later explain once we get, once we get it, the block. Explore this cave a little bit more. Oh, got some iron over there. Let's grab that. Easily grab that by doing this. Oh, there we go. Plop. In our inventory. Oh, that is parkour. Haha. <laughs> Let's explore the other part of this cave that we didn't explore. Oh god, that's where the spiders are. That's where the spider is. That's where the spider is. Let's try to take down that. There we go. Nothing else. Looks like we have nothing else except for this. Except for this. We have another part of this cave, and it's strong. And survivor eye. Cool. This cave will. That, that, well, this part of the cave ends here. I try to block out this water source because this will probably be a annoying water source to come by. As you see, I walk. We walk very slow in the water. Is there anything under here? Nope. Let's grab that dirt. I don't think nothing happened there. Let's leave this dirt block right over here so we know where we have been. And let's explore this part of the cave. It's, that goes pretty low. Oh, didn't mean to place that. Let's just. Uh, let's just create a little bit more torches, because we'll probably need that. Oh, we can already see. I think we can already hear a little bit more games. I can already hear it. I can hear it. I can hear like a little bit. Breathe. I can hear it like a little bit. A little bit of mobs. Okay. Is there anything in here? Anything? Anything that I can go for grabs? Nope. So I can explore that part of the cave, because that's that that's a big part with all the have stuff, but that's the more just playing mobs. Ah, hey, there's iron right here. Not really we want this part of the cave. That's just you can also here's a tip if you're hop by, if you shift and you can place blocks in front of you with correct precision. Can really help us. Hopefully, a skeleton doesn't shoot us. I just there we go. Oh, there where we see it. There's where we see it. Let's get ready to attack. Skeletons get. Oh, why am I attacking with mine? Skeletons can be annoying because they do a decent amount of damage, and they are cut. They always. And is that? Oh wow, that actually continues to the surface. Oh god, this is a big part of this cave. There's, there must be a lot of iron here. Okay. There's some... Yeah. Not a lot of stuff. How's there not a lot of stuff? This is so big! Oh, wow. Not a lot of stuff we're finding here. We probably got lucky from all that iron over there. The cave should have a lot of iron and coal. And I think there's some iron over there. I don't know, because it's kind of dark. Oh, we need more torches already. You will always need torches. Uh, nope, there's no iron. If I do miss some, then I'll probably come back later. But I just don't think I took the brown to break, so I don't know. And it just broke. And let's let's try to go back up to where we started, and we'll leave this cave right over here. Maybe we'll explore some part of it later. But we have a lot of iron that we need to smelt. Probably 20, including that I already have. And let's try to make it back up to the surface using these cobblestone. There we go. And let's, and let's, and what was he get with there? Let's see our last, oh no, please don't tell me I got this. Oh, no, it's right there. Right where we left it. Also, let's, oh dang, why did I do that? I, I need to mine it. 
I think that last video and we'll teach you next time about uh, something else, maybe about starting a farm, because you probably need food, because I just eat my last cooked beef. Okay, let's just get our iron, let's, let's get it smelting, in the next episode we'll, we'll te I'll, also here's a trick, we can split iron to two furnaces, double the firing power, let's also, that's because we're here, let's make ourselves a little bit of extra, extra things, let's make an iron pickaxe, there we go. And an iron sword, because we need some to protect it. And let's make a bucket. So we can hold the water. Let's just go over there and get some water, and then we can end this episode off. With like a good note, we did take a lot of damage, and our house is not looking that good. But, it's better than having a dirt shack in the first night. And we also got a, a fair amount of iron. That's pretty good, that's pretty good if you ask me. Let's store all the stuff we don't need. And there we go. Also for our for our next episode, we'll probably need a hoe. So let's make a stone hoe right here. So we can have it for our next episode. We'll probably, I'll probably be releasing this as more frequently if I just started it. But let's let's just use our stone hoe. And we can keep it in our inventory because we'll probably use it later. Because, and I'll teach you what, to, what, to, what it does later. So, and our iron is finished molten. With this, we can make a, we can make a chest plate for X protection. I'll just right click that, and we have iron chest plate, and we are fully prepared for anything that comes. And also we have a little bit of iron. We'll probably make a flint and steel. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's put this right in here. And then, let's put our iron one there. Our gunpowder. And there we go. I also let's put the arrows. And there we go. There we go. That is our, um, our first episode of the series. And um, I hope you enjoyed um, as I'll continue to... Maybe today? Maybe today, actually. This... Time recording this video, I, I still need to maybe edit it or do something else, but hope you enjoyed this and um and stay safe and wash your hands because you know there's you know going on. And uh, we can exit and safely exit out of the game and we can up it end this episode right off here with a good note. And I hope you enjoyed and I think Minecraft is not okay. But I hope you enjoyed, um also, if you're interested in the seed, it is negative 106-333-6842. Type that in your seed, and you'll get the same seed I am in with the village. And not with the same house, because you'll soon create that, but with the same caves. And if you follow my coordinates, you'll probably get a cave, the same thing, over here, by the same coal. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll end this off right here with a good note, again. And I hope you've enjoyed this, and remember to subscribe, leave a like, and, uh, there's always a saying that I should say then, but I don't have anything. So I'll just end that right there. Bye.